Hello, Nomads Kalbt, and this tutorial is about the curve repeater and curved shapes and problems. Okay, so let's start. So we need an example here. So I want to create here um, such um, details on the wing and I want to place here along the wing here uh, such bolts or screws or something along this curve. So, um, okay, I start from the beginning. So this one here, um, I delete the, the screws or the bolts and first you need here a tube path. The path um, here it follows the complete contour of the of the wing. So it's a closed tube profile. So the next thing is here I delete this array. So here in the three dots menu here you find here the option for the curve repeater. So create a curve repeater. So now you have um, a curve repeater of the tube path. The next thing is here, it's very important. So you see here your, your gizmo position and now add on gizmo a group node. So and this group you have to switch here in the hierarchy, put the group node inside the curve repeater. Okay. So the next thing is you have to insert an object. Um, I use now the insert tool and I um, yeah maybe let's use a cylinder and for for this here I change yes the count to only one so then I select the group the insert tool and I place here my small cylinder the next very important step is activate the gizmo and here in the gizmo settings press reset so then something strange happens the, the, the object uh, scales so you have to scale it back So, and now we have to rotate it. So I use uh, the snap function and rotate it 90 degrees in this direction. So let's adjust um, So when you press now the gizmo, you see here the gizmo is on the bottom and here is your, your insert position. Okay, we can change now the, the divisions. And inside the, the group node here, you can move your object here around. So it's also possible to use the transform tool and to place it here.
but it's important that the object is inside the group. Okay, so it's really important. <laughs> okay, so let's adjust um, um, this thing a little bit here. So maybe like this. And now we can change the value of the curve repeater. So now you see the problem. This curve is on this position and here the, the objects are disappearing in the object and they are not uh, following the curve because it's a, a different shape. So here, here are problems and here's the offset I think, so it's not correct. So how to fix it? So So I select the object and I validate it. And then I create a layer. Add a layer. And then we can use a solo view. So I rotate the object in a correct view. And then there's a project tool, the project tool here. And here draw, um, draw a path like this. And press the green dot. So now you get a, such a flat object. So when you use the layer slider, you can bring it back in its original shape. Okay, the next thing is, we can use um, this shape here maybe and we can uh, use a clone. and place it here somewhere and I activate the outline to see it where it it's in position and then we can validate the, the curve repeater so validate and join the children yes so now you see all your um, bolts And the next step is add a new layer. So this is the layer for the offset. And select the new layer. And then here's uh, in the MISC menu here is a reproject option. So select only the vertices for this. Ray bias is okay, so the setting is I think it's correct and press here reproject from high res. So now you see all your objects are reprojected on the surface of the wing. The next step is use the layer slider and bring it uh, back. So you see now the, the objects are correct on the on the surface of the of the wing and um, but there's a, a, a distortion here so it's yeah it's not correct so the best thing for this I go a few steps back to this position And I use here the solo view. The best thing is to use 2D flat objects. So I use now the cell mask 
so where is it? So I mask the bottom and uh, I use the shell extraction. So shell zero, smoothness zero and extract the, the bottom of the, the bolt or yeah, the screw. And this shape here I don't need anymore. So, so I go back in the other view. So now let's clone this object. Use the gizmo, bring it in position on the other side, and then use the validation here, join the children. Now you get your, your objects here, and reproject here. So everything is in position. Here in the solo view, you see here now we use the bottom, so we have here the back face. So now we can mask everything, give it a shell thickness, but in the here in the negative direction. So now we can extract the whole thing. So I go go a step back. It's too much, and we don't need so much edge loops a bit more so I think now it's correct so everything is now extracted in the normal direction and yeah yes yeah, so some problems are um, from the reprojection here this is not correct but it's um, the best way I know so far um, to do such things here. So now in this um, in the solo view smooth shading off you get now such a detail thing. So it looks like this. Yeah. That's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.